only be that. That's right. Go ahead. Glory to God. Have your mighty way. And again, he stooped down and rolled on the ground. And they which heard it become, being con convicted by their own conscience went out one by one being at least the elders even unto the last and Jesus was left alone and the woman standing in the midst. When Jesus had, had lifted up himself and saw none but a woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those thy accusers? Come on now. I have no man condemned thee. And he said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I, do I condemn, condemn thee Go and sin no more. That's right. Come on. Come on. Go and sin no more. He didn't condemn her. He didn't put her down. That's right. He said, neither do I. Go and sin no more. If that ain't something to clap your hands about, praise God about, I'm here to tell you there's something wrong with you. Go wood just a little bit quick. Praise God, I'm here to tell you because God don't condemn you, He'll pick you up. Glory to God. God is not the author of confusion. He puts confusion out in the west side. I'm going to tell you something. Get you some anointing oil. You got a problem at your house? Go through that anointing door. That's right. Don't you, don't, don't over, do your walls. That's right. Do your furniture. Somebody's in there got a liquor bottle in your house, go over and anoint it. Anoint it with oil. I guarantee you one thing, and you plead the blood of Jesus over that bottle, when they turn it up, they'll be sick. Oh, let me tell you why. God said, you ask and you shall receive. You have not because you ask not. We prayed for some children. And I done told them, they're going to be the miserable kids. They're going to be just like me. I was so miserable. I didn't want to leave. I told my wife, you tell them to quit praying for me. I did not want to hear no more about me getting behind a pulpit and preaching God's word. But guess what? When he puts your flat of your back looking up, you ain't got a choice but listen. And I'm here to tell you, if I had to listen, I don't believe I'd be doing what I'm doing right now because he could have took me home. All I remember, I woke up in the hospital. Come on. But see, God kept his hands on me because I was not done. And I'm going to tell you one other thing. This Bible goes from Genesis all the way to Revelation. Right. Show me a retirement plan in here. Right. You want me to tell you when the retirement plan is? When you walk in the streets of gold. And when God calls you home, then you can say you're retired. Right. Glory! Then you can say you're done. I walked the good walk. I fought a good walk. I put the devil in his place. Glory to God. Have your mighty way. Thank God, thank God. That's when you can say it's done. That's right. That's right. Jesus was on the cross. He said, Father, forgive them for they know what they do. Come on now. Even the old thief sitting there beside him. They remember me 
when he in thy kingdom. He said to this day, this day, you will be with me in paradise. Whew. This day, he didn't have to go to a fancy church. He didn't have to go to a fancy place. He was hanging on a cross just like Jesus Christ did. And Jesus Christ forgave him and took him home with him. Glory, have your mighty way. Took him home with him. To this day, you will be with me in paradise. Yeah. Praise God, I'm here to tell you. He is real. We got where I'm. No 12. Then spoke Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world, and he that followed me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Don't you know? The light. He's the light. You know, when we get to heaven, there ain't going to be no more tears. There ain't going to be no more sickness. There ain't going to be no more pain. Praise God, there ain't going to be no more death. Why? We're going to be in the kingdom of heaven. Walking on and on. Glory to God. Down the streets of gold. I ain't worried about no gold. I want to see Jesus when I take my crown off. I want to throw it at his feet. Why? Because he went to the cross for me and he brought me in to be with him. Glory to God. I don't care about the walls of Jasper. I don't care about a mansion. I'm here to tell you, I just care about making it in. Glory to God. I just care about making it through the door. I just care about making it through the gate. I want to make it in there. Once I get in there, just give me a puff. I'll be happy. Glory. I don't care. Glory to God. I'm here to tell you. I don't care what he's got. I want to be there. Glory to God. I ain't worried about no mansion. I ain't got one here. And I keep one up here. But I don't care. I will never be home. I'll be with Jesus. Because he loved me enough to come into my life and get me out of that hole pit. He got me out of that hole pit wallowing with the hogs. He put me on a what? A solid foundation. He said to Peter, upon this rock you build my church. And there's a prayer God. There's a rock. There's the other rock. And you build your church. What's inside of you? Come on. Oh, God. There was man not glad. There was mad and I'm glad. He probably in the corner right now. I wish they hadn't done what I did. That man scared me. I'm just getting started. The Pharisees therefore said unto him, That bearest record of thyself, thy record is not true. See, they still didn't believe Jesus was the Son of God. Jesus actually said unto them, though I bear a record of myself, yet my record is true, for I know where I came and whether I go, but you cannot tell where I come and whether I go. He just after the flesh, I Judge no man. Oh. Jesus judges no man. But you know, they're going to be a judgment day one day. They're going to be a judgment day one day. And what I'm saying here today it could be knocking at your door. Amen. Come on now. Right. It could be knocking at your right door right now. <laughs> but the way you get things going right is pray. Right. Seek God. 
Ask God to help you. Help you get over these rough valleys. Get take you out of the gutter and put you on top of the solid foundation, which is the mountain of Jesus Christ. Let you get on top of that mountain with a mountain of Jesus Christ. That's where you need to be, not down in the valley. We go through trials. We go through temptation. But I'm here to tell you one thing. Praise God. They ain't nothing too big for God to take care of. When you think things are going wrong, they ain't nothing going right. I can't do this by myself. That's the clue to call on Jesus. Glory. That's the clue to call on Jesus. Let Jesus come into your heart. Let Jesus take care of you. Praise God. Let Jesus wake you up. Let Jesus send you the straight the right way. Let Jesus show you how to work and how to do and how to talk to people. Why? Because we supposed to be setting an example. Every preacher that stands up behind a pulpit is going to be held accountable whether he hurts somebody's feelings, whether he puts somebody out that door, that preacher's going to be held accountable for what he says behind this pulpit. Right. 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 Blaspheming against the Holy Ghost, you will never get forgiveness from it. Never. Put you in that reprobate mind. God forgive you everything but blaspheming against the Holy Ghost. I don't care how many people you've shot. God forgive you. God forgive you. You see what the Holy said? Well, that person can't go to heaven because he shot this person. He's been in prison for 30 years. Yes, that person can. Yes, he can. Like I said earlier, I don't care about what y'all done. It ain't got nothing to do with right now. I don't care what happened. Everything that happens, happens for a reason. No matter what happened, God's in control. Whatever goes wrong and whatever goes right, God is still in control. And yet, if I judge, my judgment is true. For I am not alone, but I am the Father that sent me. It is also written in your law that the testimony of two men is true. And I come to bear witness of myself and the Father that I sent, that sent me bear witness of me. Then said unto him, Where is thy father? And Jesus answered, Ye neither know me nor my father. If you had known me, you shall have known my father also. People say they love the Lord, but yet they don't know who he is. We got children nowadays that's killing children. Come on now. Shooting in places that our kids are supposed to be safe at. But they they shooting them. They shooting them because the devil is running out of time. He is about to run slam out of time. When his time is up, he got his place. And there ain't no way he going to escape. But we got our place too. Be with Jesus. Or be down yonder. Come on now. I'm going up yonder. Even the people in hell is going to see the people that he knew on this earth that told him about Jesus because it's been going through and through their mind because they had a chance to meet this man named Jesus but yet they turned away and decided not to. So hell made their home. 
Even the rich man seen Lazarus laying the bosom of Abraham. Let him just touch the tip of his finger and put it on my tongue because I am tormented in here. Whew. He wanted somebody to go tell his brothers don't come here. They're going to see you. They're going to know who you are. And if you told them about Jesus and you walk in the streets of gold, they're going to remember it. They ain't going to remember it. Can you, under, can you imagine everlasting punishment? How many of them got burned with a charcoal? Think of it a thousand times harder. Well, now, think of it a thousand times, if not more times, harder. No bottom, just steadily tumbling. Satan up behind. <laughs> Every time y'all do something wrong, or I do something wrong, I'm keep Satan laughing at you. Hello? He's laughing at you. I got you now. He tries. Come on now. He tries, don't he? Don't tell me Satan ain't trying to get you. Because we ain't have the last one of you. You need to get up here and kneel down and let's get you to pray all through. Because if he ain't trying to get you, guess what? He done got you. He's doing the job real hard. Real hard he's doing his job. But this is one old boy. He ain't on defeat. Through the blood of Jesus Christ, I claim victory over the troubles that we're having sitting right up under here. Amen. Through the blood of Jesus Christ, I claim victory, and I claim it defeated, and I claim it over.